Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I kind of am right now. It is kind of dark and gloomy out today. It was pouring rain uh, just a little while ago, so I was kind of like, oh shit, am I really to go out into this, you know, craziness today? But I'm gonna be going out to some of the usual spots. I believe uh, some of the stuff that comes out today is like the movie Bombshell. Uh, Uncut Gems, which was amazing in my opinion, and I believe like you know Beauty and the Beast and stuff is uh, being released on 4K and um, among some other titles. I'm gonna be going out there, just trying to see what I can find today. Like I said, I'm already out and about as of uh, you know right now, but good news, big news, out and about the movie to Las Vegas Adventure will be on YouTube this Friday the 13th. So if you guys have been waiting to see out and about the movie too. It's hitting YouTube this Friday, man. So don't forget to check it out. I'll be popping it up, uh, you know, in the afternoon. Hopefully you guys check it out. You know, give it likes and thumbs up and all that kind of jazz. And uh, yeah, so let's start this hoarding adventure. And the first location is Target, baby. Let's head on in, see what we can find. Well, just made it on in here. It looks like some of the new releases that came out today are uh, Spies in Disguise, which I got a few days ago, uh, you know, into review and stuff. Me and Ethan watched it and kind of really enjoyed it, to be honest. You know, it was actually kind of funny, kind of, you know, kind of cool. And this is a Target exclusive, uh, like, Digibook edition. Or it's kind of sort of like a Digibook edition uh, right here with like different artwork for the 4K release and comes with like a limited edition uh, like training manual if you guys want if you want to learn how to be a spy uh, yourself that's kind of kind of a little interesting thing that they added uh, to the release of that one right here also is this some, some that movie play mobile play, play mobile the movie uh, you know came out today I uh, have really no interest in that uh, you know whatsoever also this uh, you know uh, this is like one of those nature documentaries BBC one uh, seven worlds one planet uh, I have yet to see this uh, it could be kind of cool because I always liked the uh, you know the, the BBC documentaries like blue planet and stuff that one was always kind of a, a decent one to watch. But of course we get uncut gems. I gotta say, one of Adam Sandler's best dramatic roles that I've seen him do. At least, you know, as of recent and stuff. Of course, Punch, Punch Drunk Love was a, was a, was a pretty, pretty solid one uh, as well. But they got the Blu-ray and the DVD uh, over here. But when it comes to the front part, this is pretty much one all the ones from the previous weeks, like Frozen 2 and stuff. But if you circle around to this other side, uh, they have that new Charlie's Angels movie on uh, you know 4K and uh, Blu-ray. Uh, this is that one that was like directed and I believe produced by uh, Elizabeth Banks. It it was just kind of like whatever, uh, in my opinion. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as atrocious as people were making it out to be. But it's definitely just like a one-time watch, uh, you know, flick to me. Check out the movie Bombshell. You know what I mean? Like it's it, this one was actually really really well done. You know what I mean? I mean these are these are some badass women right here, you know, <laughs> in the film industry right now, and uh, this was a pretty solid flick. You know what I mean? A real decent, uh, well acted flick. Like I, I recommend this one, uh, really just this one and um, Uncut Gems are some of the best ones that came out today. And I was glad I got some review copies of those ones in over the past you know couple of weeks and stuff. And damn, my hair is all wacky. I tried to comb it in a different way today, and it's I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. I try to put hairspray in it and comb it back. I feel a little weird. Off at the next stop of the day, Goodwill, baby. Let's head on in and hope for the best. Well, in here now, looking at the media, and it looks like there's an abundance of it over here. Not exactly sure what these are. Are these video games or something? This looks like, yeah, like Mickey Mouse, Mouse Club or something. I don't know what kind of video game system this is. Right here, have you guys seen this before? Or if it's like a learning thing for kids, there's like a whole bunch of them up here next to the cassettes and stuff. They do have a little bit of Blu-rays here, like Meet the Fockers, American Pie, Iron Man 2 with a slipcase. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of kind of cool to see they come across. But yeah, it's not a whole lot Blu-ray-wise uh, up there. So it's pretty much these ones right here. But uh, as we go down here, I'm gonna take a look at some of the DVDizzles 
and uh, hopefully come out, come across some, you know, amazing dizzles, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I like how the Blu-rays and DVDs are right next to the shitters, uh, right at, right over here at this one. But I came across uh, Far From Home, The Adventures of Yellow Dog. This is a film I used to watch a lot, a lot when I was younger, like all these movies with, you know, animals in them. Getting out of Goodwill now, didn't come across really anything in that one. It was kind of like crowded with people like around me. It was getting kind of annoying. I'm like, please don't cough on me. Please don't cough on me, cause I may just fart on you. <laughs> Coronavirus to the shit virus. Well guys, at the final stop of the day, let's get up in there and see if we can find anything cool. I gotta fix my hair up, man. I ain't doing this again. Not doing this again. Well, let's see what they got going on today. They do got the Charlie's Angels uh, Blu-ray and 4K. It doesn't look like there's any exclusives uh, for this edition right here. Uh, they do have the, Be the Beauty and the Beast stuff. Uh, that came out, uh, The Beauty and the Beast, Steelbook, the live action film. This one's kind of cool, man, with Emma on the cover right there. I kind of dig this, uh, the Steelbook, but for $35, for $35, that movie actually wasn't the greatest, in my opinion. Like, I love the live action one a bit more. And uh, we do get the, of course, the standalone 4K. We get the 4K of the original uh, Beauty and the Beast animated film, which is amazing. I've always loved this one. You know, this one and like uh, Little Mermaid were some of my favorite ones. And this one even also comes with a an ex Best Buy exclusive steelbook with a rose on it. How dope is that, man? But on the other side of this end cap over here, they do have the Uncut Gems and their Quiet Place uh, that came out on a Mondo steelbook. I, I, I believe this is not an exclusive edition or anything like that. I did get a review copy in right before I moved to the new area and everything. This is a really cool, mo really cool movie. I'm uh, kind of interested in seeing the second one, but I don't know if it's gonna live up, live up to the hype of the first. But I guess we'll find out and wait and see. But they do have Spies in the Skies here, Blu-ray, 4K, and they have their own exclusive Steelbook edition of it right here. Which I don't know if I like that design. I kind of like the design of the regular standalone 4K right there. But uh, yeah, this movie was was fun. Was fun, especially when me and Ethan sat there in my room and watched it, you know? You know what? I thought Best Buy was going to be my last stop of the day. But nope, it's going to be Hope of the Valley Thrift Store. Let's head on in. Well, guys, in here right now, it looks like they have a, more VHS than DVD uh, in this place. They do have, like, random, like, discs of, like, Wings and Planet of the Apes, which I think is, like, a bootleg disc right here. Like, a random, like a random assortment of, like... What what the hellness, uh, you know, in this place right here. But I did come across this OG uh, VHS tape of uh, Die Hard, which I believe is, might have been the original VHS release of the, you know, of this. And they also have Die Hard with a Vengeance, but this is not a not the one that I usually usually see when it comes to VHS tapes. This is like the exclusive behind the scenes, you know, VHS tape. I think it's what like 30 minutes long it's like uh, the making of the film that's kind of cool with the like artwork uh, and like a picture on here i've never seen before that that is kind of sweet man because i've always loved the Die Hard franchise well especially the first three after the first three if you know what i'm saying but like i said there's like a, an abundance of like vhs tapes in here like they have this like uh big the big box of uh 2001 Oh shit, a Space Odyssey, and I believe it has like the little fold in it right here where you can like see the old tape in there like that. Like how, you know, how VHS's first were when they came out, you know, back in the late 70s, early 80s or whatever it was. I, I didn't, my family didn't get into VHS tapes until like, you know, uh, what, like, <clears throat> what was it, like late 80s, maybe early, super early 90s. But that's all I'm really seeing in here is a lot of, you know, different VHS tapes. And what is this? Star Wars. Star, what is this? Leapster Star Wars. I don't know exactly what this is. If this is, is this like a game? I'm not sure. I don't even know how I, if I can even open this thing. Let me see. I can't. I can't even open this. Open this thing with one hand. Oh, that they taped it shut. They taped it shut. But is it? Any of you guys seen this out there in the wild before? It looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's a game. Maybe like a PC game or something. But I'm not 100% sure what it is I'm looking at when it comes to that. But Star Wars. Is always cool in my book, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of like really anything I need to jump up on, you know, like DVD wise or really even VHS wise, except for that Die Hard one. But that you know the the special feature one, which which is probably all the same special features that are on like a you know uh, like DVD or Blu-ray edition I have. But eh, 
I had to pop in here to see if there was anything cool, but eh, just average thrift store stuff. Well, getting out of there thrift store right now. Couldn't really find anything I really needed to jump up on, but I did last night. Uh, or yesterday whatever get some packages in from different PR companies I work with and uh, I did a little unboxing video you know unboxing what I got so let's cut to the video uh, I shot last night to end off this hoarding adventure hopefully you guys enjoyed it and like I said stay tuned this Friday out and about the movie 2 is dropping the YouTube man make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up drop comments on it share it around all that jazz but right now Let's cut to the video I shot last night. Unboxing some uh, some stuff I got in the mail. Like I said, I got some packages uh, for, uh, in fact, which I'm gonna unbox for you guys right now. Uh, most likely these are like screeners I got from like different promotional companies or you know studios or PR companies I work with. So uh, let's see uh, what came today. Let's start off with the, one of the smallest ones and see uh, what came in the mail today. It says it's coming from. Uh, um, MVD Home Entertainment and uh, that is Verotica right here the Verotica Blu-ray DVD combo pack I was actually at the um, per, uh, like a, sort of like an LA screening or premiere uh, of this flick this is a movie that's uh, written and, believe, and directed I believe by Glenn Danzig uh, who you guys know from the Misfits and stuff I, like I said I was at the premiere I even got to you know talk to him for a brief moment or two I even got like a selfie with the, with the guy and everything which was, which was kind of cool can't lie, I had a hard time really getting into this movie, and I really wasn't expecting uh, to, to get this in the mail. Like, I don't even think I saw a request for it, but it's one of those wacky, crazy out there kind of anthology films that you really kind of have to be in the mood for, uh, if you know what I'm saying. It says it includes the CD, uh, oh, it includes a CD soundtrack featuring music from Glenn Danzig. And uh, some of the, some other some other uh, groups and everything. So it has a feature length, or you know, the soundtrack included into the in this uh, uh, pack right here, which is kind of, which is a, a cool thing. Uh, other than that, special feature wise, like I said, I just got it, so I'm not sure exactly what's on it. It's coming from MVD Visual and Cleopatra Films. But yeah, I had a hard time watching it when I was at you know in, in, in the theater uh, for the premiere and stuff. It was kind of kind of a rough watch. Like I said, you have to kind of be in the right mood. But let's open up this other smaller one and see what, what came in here. Oh, this is coming from Scream Factory, and it's uh, Bones. Uh, this one right here is directed by Ernest Dickerson, who was also the um, cinematographer uh, for, uh, I think, a couple of Spike Lee movies, but one of my favorite films of uh, Spike Lee, Do the Right Thing. And this is, uh, this is one of his uh, films that he directed himself. So, of course, starring Snoop Dogg. Haven't seen this one uh, in, 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 a, in a good amount of years. Like, I think I saw it when it first came out. Like, it has Snoop Dogg and Pam Greer uh, in there and stuff. It has a whole bunch of looks like interviews uh, with Ernest Dickerson the, and some of the screenwriters, theatrical trailer, music video, and, of course, some of the other uh, special features that were on the previous DVD edition uh, of the of the film Bones. Can't wait to crack this, you know, crack this open and pop this in because I haven't seen this one in years, like I said. But thank you, Shout Factory, for uh, sending that over. Uh, and when does that one come out on uh, Blu-ray? It comes out, uh, the Bones Blu-ray uh, comes out March 31st uh, of this year, March 31st. That's cool, I'm gonna crack into that one soon. But uh, yeah, let's open up this uh, bubble mailer and see what, what came in here. Because uh, when, when it comes to this one right here and uh, this white box, uh, I ran down to my old apartment, you know, the one that we, you know, I just moved out of, because like there was like stickers on the door, so I had to like go see what was up, and these were these were left there. We have until the 13th uh, to you know to get everything up out of there, which is pretty much done already. But this is this was left in front of my door. I need to message this company and let them know that of my change of address. And I got uh, this is from Warner Brothers. It looks like, and it's uh, Richard Drool, Richard Richard. Jewel, uh, you know, starring uh, Sam Walkwell, Kathy Bates, uh, Paul Walter Hustler. I can't even say his name right now. Olivia Wilde. I saw I saw some trailers for this. It looks pretty interesting. It was like a guy that's like I guess being accused of something that he I believe didn't do, and they were kind of trying to force him into being like the guy that did it. I guess I'm not 100 percent sure. I have to you know actually watch the movie before I even say anything about it. But I, I always loved Kathy Bates ever since Angus and Misery, especially Angus. Uh, in, in my opinion, but that's uh, Richard Drool right there. I got a message uh, Definitely got to have to message Warner Brothers and tell them 
about my new change of address. But let's see what came in this little box right here. Usually uh, things that come in a box like this, uh, for the most part, come from Universal. So that uh, let's see what, what this could be. Come on, let's open this up, big baby. Let's get this cracking. Yeah. Okay, and it is Universal. And it's a movie that I have really no interest in. And they sent me just a, a DVD of it too, for that matter. Just, just a DVD of it. And it's a movie called Play Mobile the Movie. Um, <laughs> this is like... I don't even know, maybe it might, maybe my niece and nephew Ethan and Arya might watch this. Uh, play Mobile the Movie. Huh? I know, I think this one got like a, like, it got a theatrical release, but it's like one of those things like, I was just like, what is this thing? Uh, and this one's coming out, I guess it's only getting a DVD release, DVD and digital release. They're not even doing a Blu-ray of it from the, the sheet that I have right here. I'm trying to see when the, what the date is on this thing, when it's supposed to be released, so I can tell you guys. Uh, street date is March 3rd. March 3rd, is, uh, 2020, is when Play Mobile was coming out. Unless the paperwork is uh, wrong. But uh, that's all I have for you guys for this unboxing portion uh, of this video here. We got a couple of horror flicks, a drama flick, and a kid flick uh, right here. But guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos. Please give them a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, to this channel if you guys haven't already and make sure you guys hit that bell notification so you guys get notified uh, whenever I upload new content. I know I'm not a big YouTuber or anything like that but I just have fun doing what I'm doing but please support me if you can and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ta.